Hi, this is Keith Parsons, Dr. NetFlow of Action Pack Networks, and today I'd like to show you our new feature supporting Cisco MediaNet and MediaTrace within Live Action. So let's take a look. What we're seeing today is specifically three different methods of testing and monitoring that have been added since the MediaNet capability has been released within the Cisco IOS. This new NetFlow capability is called MediaNet Performance Monitor and it also makes use of flexible NetFlow not only to report standard NetFlow but also key media and application performance metrics for traffic flows. These performance metrics are geared for RTP traffic streams, voice and video, but the metrics are also available for TCP. Performance Monitor uses flexible NetFlow and NetFlow version 9 for exporting flow records. We're going to also demonstrate session monitoring using MediaTrace, the ability of following a flow through the network, video or voice, and troubleshooting a problem. And last, testing also with the new feature called IPSLAVO for video operation. So let's take a look at the new capabilities within Live Action. Here we are looking at live action from the home view and what I'd like to do today is I'm going to come over and select my 2921 router and as we can see it's exporting uh, regular net flow right now and we can see the flows and all the usual uh, fields that we're used to. I'm going to go up to the top of the screen and select MediaNet and now MediaNet brings up the MediaNet flows as we can now see. I'm sorting them by the RTP SSRC so this C number can easily be identified from device to device to be able to follow a flow. So let's pause the display and select a particular uh, call of interest or video call or voice call. And when I scroll over, notice for the first time what you can see is packet loss percentages and for the first time RFC 3550 jitter measurements for showing max, mean, and as well minimum. So for the first time ever coming from your router, we can now see this information or your switch. And this is great detail to have without having a probe, having to span traffic, add additional equipment. You see, I can see this actual flow right now on the actual 2921. And if I click on my 1811 router as well and pause the display, there's that same SSRC number. We can scroll over well and see the same jitter measurements and see how jitter is increased as well well as also a loss vent count and packet loss percentages are also increased. This is where the second feature comes in called Media Trace. So I'll go to the home view and actually click on the table view and show all the flows and we can go up and actually see, pick that one actual flow for video going through the network and execute Media Trace. Media Trace now is a new functionality built into the iOS that allows the routers to single out a single video or voice call through the network and then bring back performance metrics for that call or video. So we're actually setting up Media Trace now in the background using our technology, making it very easy. And here are the three hops for the conversation and we'll refresh the data and then we can actually start getting our measurements in. And instantly we start seeing where the latency has occurred in the three hops and very easily can be measured just by refreshing the screen. And now we can actually have our performance of RTP packet loss percentages, RTP packet loss expected, loss and jitter measurements are all being supplied as well as a detailed diagram of through the network of how the actual call is performing as well. So this is media trace in action and is very nice nice and be very easy to implement when you're using live action. The last thing I'd like to show you today is the IPSLA VO. So let's click our IPSLA tab and as you can see I've got some IPSLA tests that are running across the network right now. Here's a jitter test that's running here. Here we have some jitter tests here. But the ones we're concerned with there are our new IPSLA VO. Notice these tests that are running right here. Here's a video stream. Here's another jitter uh, test I'm running. And there's an actual another video stream as well. So we can see the two video streams going in one direction and see the video streams going in the other direction. This is an IPSLOVO test that I have actually set up using live action. That's right, for the first time a 3560 and a 3750 can actually generate traffic on the network to lay to baseline your network for the first time. So using live action, it's easy for us to create the test by simulating the number of a video test per device. So I can select telepresence, ITPV, 
or either uh, IP video surveillance camera and we can actually easily set up the topology as a mesh or a hub and spoke and you simply add the devices in schedule the test for how long you'd like for it to run and we generate all the configurations automatically and push them out to the devices and then the test automatically starts what's nice is that we can go to reports and then we can come down and look to a video operation time series and look how clean my network's running right now. No loss, jitter, or latency with me simulating two calls across the network as well. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, just go to our website at www.actionpack.com. Thank you.